So four seconds in the shot clock. Possession to Batangas. Baloria drives. Yes. And again, I mentioned that earlier. That left side of the floor has always been open for John Baloria. 59 to 53. In game two of your South Division finals, Abundo finds a piso. Seven on the shot clock. He's staying in front of Abundo. Pulls the trigger. No good. Baloria with a rebound. You got to play really good defense here. A score here could be costly for the Huskers. Jong with five seconds to work with. Baloria, step back three. Good! Jong Baloria! Gives Batangas a nine-point lead in game two. Fuentes, yes! What a response! Jodel Fuentes refusing to quit on Quezon. And, and this is why this series is so tough. It's almost like you don't want this to end. Quezon has yet to give up a foul here in the fourth. Baloria is fouled. Last two minutes is brought to you by GameX. GameX Sports, the official online Basketball ending partner of the MPBL was the ending game X. And look at John Baloria. He's done this so many yeah. times in his MPBL career. But Batanga celebrating too early. And Fuentes knocks down the three to make it a six-point game. But Baloria is back at the line. And you have to remember the final minute and 52 of game number one was actually a scoring exchange between John Valoria and Judel Fuentes. Is that going to be the same case right now? And Coach Eric has to be careful because he's already on a technical. Mm -hmm. And then this is, poise is going to be key in a tight match like this. Valoria, two for two. Seven straight points para kay Jong Valoria. LJ Gonzalez. Quezon down by eight, ten seconds on the shot clock. Wasting too much time. LJ is fouled. He'll go to the line. And again, that defense has really been allowing just that point of attack for the Quezon Huskers. A drive going the left side of the floor. And nakikita mo kanina, nakailan drive si LJ Gonzalez nahihirapan. Maka-finish on that left side of the floor. Now pressure pack free throws here. 10 points for LJ, nothing but net on that one. A six for nine for the ball game from the line. Two for two. Six point game, two possession game. Yeah. Gotta get a good stop. Happy Nan. Big Ayurit Kay Jong Baloria. Who has taken over in crunch time. Baloria with eight seconds to work with. That's a dangerous two-man game. Apinan to it. No good. Rebound. Banal. Agawan sa bola. Foul. Make no mistake about it. Hindi po binibigay uh -huh. ng magkabilang kupunan ang larong to. That's right. Nobody. Someone has to grab it. Right. You can't just wait for it to fall on your hands. You gotta go and take it. 
And I was saying about that high side ball screen with Jexter Apinan and Jong Baloria. That's pretty tough because your roller is uh, Jexter Apinan, who's a really good decision maker and a really good passer in that area. It's a six point lead for Batangas City. 70 seconds remaining. Timeout, Batangas. We will be right back. Batangas wants one more stop. Senator Manny, <laughs> sama kami sa Dubai. <laughs> kailangan nyo ng visa. <laughs> Lahat po tayo kailangan ng visa bago pumunta doon. Yung PBI Commissioner Kenneth Deremdes and syempre Executive Officer Joe Ramos in the building. A jam-packed Batangas City Coliseum. Will they witness their team rise to the top of the South Division tonight. We have 70 seconds to find out. Too close to call. Itong sering to. And it has lived up to this billing. Too close to call. Oh. A dangerous bounce pass. Levy Hernandez. No good. Fuentes with a rebound ahead to LJ Gonzalez. And LJ will lay it in. Ooh. Plus the foul. No quit. No quit. Quezon. Yeah. And you, you, you said it correctly. They're not giving this on a silver platter. You gotta go and take it. And every miscue that you make, they're gonna make you pay on the other end. And this is where Quezon is at its best during the regular season. The open floor. Right. Para kay LJ Gonzalez. And a touch foul on CJ Isit. It, he also fouls out of the ball game. LJ completes the three-point play. It's a one-possession game. 64 to 61. 62 seconds remaining. Full court pressure right here. The try and delay. Apinan. A double team. Ooh, Valoria grabita on a bola. Gonzalez. A attake. One point game. What a turn of events! What a game! LJ Gonzalez coming alive in crunch time for Quezon. And the Huskers looking to complete the comeback here. LJ Gonzalez, they forced the turnover. Opiso. And the poise of LJ Gonzalez burning rubber before laying that one in para matapyas ang kalamangan to just a single point with 51.4 seconds remaining let's listen in to coach Cholo MJ Wala ako na pick up. Sa <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Pero ang na pick up to doon, ang, ang, ang instructions is one stop. 
that's the ask of uh, of uh, Quezon. Coach Cholo says, when matter what happens, you got to go down on defense. That was the last time out of Batanga City. Quezon has won. Both teams have a coach's challenge each. Quezon has a couple of fouls to give. Baloria in trouble. Binigay Kapinan. John gets it back against Opiso. Baloria. Fade away. No. Apinan with a rebound. Ambuluto. Ten seconds remaining. Apinan back out to MJ. Five seconds remaining in the shot clock. De La Virgen. Throw it up. Quezon with a stop. Judel Fuentes. That's off. An air ball for Judel Fuentes. That did not look good as soon as it left his hands. Right. It was a little bit hurried. It wasn't in rhythm, unlike his shot earlier. He knew it was a little bit to the left. Again, you're going to go hit the Mugadina. Yung pasa. Importante. There was a pass available. Para kay LJ Gonzalez. Right. Little pass back. And LJ was really good at generating the closeout. Kaya nakaatake siya ng layup kanine. Yeah. Big possession for Batangas. Up by one. 16 seconds remaining. Quezon has a couple of fouls to give. Batangas already over the limit. Now Tamsi comes in for Jason Opiso. Para it, sa depensa to. Yeah. Would it be surprised if we see Panya Morgan running the other way? Panya Morgan is in the game as well. Levy Hernandez. It's a foul. That's a foul. And Panya Morgan was there. Uh, just to protect on Levy. We gotta get cooler heads here. That's the yeah, foul that's right the there. Foul. The referee put it The referee may foul. <laughs> He was also just trying to prevent anything else from escalating, I guess. Yeah. And Batangas needs this. Uh huh. But the Kessel's not yet in penalty, so this will be a sideline out of bounds. Boy. Yeah, big game, Nato. Yeah. And this series, though. You see both teams battling through their flaws. That's right. Their imperfections. Correct. Parang buway lang. We battle through our flaws right. and imperfections. Just to make it through. Just to make it through and just to showcase a game like this. Right. For everyone to enjoy. Right. <laughs> uh, this, this is going to be an all important inbound here. First order of the day is to get that ball inbounds for Batangas. 12.9 seconds remaining. O'Neill Arem will inbound. De La Vergen, Hernandez, Baloria, and Panya Morgan are on the floor. Baloria. Oh! That is off John Baloria. Possession, Quezon. Oh, wow. 10.5 seconds remaining. And they're going to review this. That was off his knee. Well, first off, Quezon did a good job of keeping that ball on the sideline. And, and not fouling. Not fouling, that's right. They had a choice actually to foul and you know get another inbounds. Send someone on the free throw. Yeah, this was a really tight position para kay uh, Jong Baloria and that Ooh, is yeah. good. Last touch to Jong, clearly. That sure looked like last touch Jong. 
64 to 63. Just gonna give a quick shout out to Boss Robert Kai na nag enjoy ng game natin. And ilan ba yun na nonood sa atin? Gusto ko malaman eh. Eh, di ako maka-check eh kasi masyadong marami. Oo, oh, intense eh. <laughs> Kailangan natin ma-check yan kasi... Ay, okay. Ibang klase. Ibang klase. Right. Maraming salamat. 38,000 on YouTube, 42,000 on Facebook. At isa dyan, kasama dyan sa 42,000 na yan, si Kiko Guhiting na birthday bukas. Kaopisina ko to. Happy birthday, Kiko. <laughs> Mabuhay kasi, ka. Nasingit mo pa yun. Nasingit ko pa. <laughs> ang galing mo na talaga. <laughs> so, possession for the Quezon Huskers and Coach Eric Gonzalez with one last chance to save the season. Ito lang ang masasabi ko. Bola ng Huskers pero yung naghiyawan akala mo bola ng Batangas eh. No? This is the home home court of Batangas and you've got a good sized crowd from Quezon supporting their team. So because of that you know, the view Keso now is burning the timeout yep. that they have. Mm -hmm. Yung last timeout. And this sideline out of bounds is going to be crucial. Quezon, one final chance to save what has been an, ins an inspiring season para sa Quezon Huskers. Jodel Fuentes, known for clutch performances with a chance at redemption. LJ Gonzalez with a chance to enhance his reputation as a big game player. Mm -hmm. Gab Banal on the floor, the former MVP with a chance to replicate his magical run a few years ago. Simon Sandagon, an opportunity as well to live up to his potential. And Jason Apiso, the inbounder, as steady as they come. Here we go. Ten seconds remaining. LJ Gonzalez against Don Ochea. Fuentes, the jumper. No. Apiso, yes! Jason Apiso with a put back. Gets on in the lead. And we have a game three! Oh, wow! What a comeback! That's a comeback for the ages! The Quezon Huskers live to fight another day! What a game! You cannot ask for anything more. You gotta take it to one advance. And Jason Opiso, boy. And the crowd is stunned. The Huskers and their traveling fans are celebrating at the moment. You gotta go and take it. Right. You gotta go and take it. And Jason Opiso did just that. He took it against three other red shirts right in front of him. And boy, what a comeback. 1.9 seconds remaining. Jason Opiso with a tip in to win the game and complete an amazing comeback for the Quezon Huskers. We go back to Quezon for game three. Well, first off, that was a really good set play. Brought up by Coach Eric Gonzalez. Having LJ come down the middle and a little pitch back for a three attempt by Judel Fuentes. 
with offensive rebounders ready underneath. And Jason Apiso just responded and knocked it down. Wow. This game 